I had a friend recently ask me, why would they be gang stalking you? Why to such an extent where it's like over the top? And I explained, I explained to her, I said, well, it's not really so much that all this resources were actually thrown into me. What they do is they choose certain people from the time they're a little kid. All gang stalking really is is a beta test program to see how people react to certain types of stimuli, punishments. Um, some people are chosen for their political views. Some are chosen for um, being uh, impoverished, uneducated. Uh, some are chosen, in my case, since they were a little child. And it's just to take uh, it's just to take down notes for the future police program that they're going to roll out for the Antichrist system on the entire world, America including, including America. So I tried to explain to her it wasn't really, um, what's that name? It's, it's bothering me. What is that? I tried to I tried to explain to my friend that in my case what happened is that my sister, brother-in-law, and their son were living on the property and when they moved out, the couple of gang stalkers that were next door the last 25 years started licking their lips. They thought, okay, this guy is so dumb, he doesn't know we're gang stalking him. Let's use this guy for a beta test. So when my sister and brother in law moved out, they sold the condos, the military bought them up, they moved in all military, and they decided to use me as a laboratory rat. And they put DARPA material my, inside my apartment, legally, by the way to test my reactions to different types of movements. So when I put shipping tape around my bed and I caught this strange rice material and I realized they were coming from the condos, the jig was up. And see, they panicked because they weren't expecting me to catch them in the act. But it wasn't really me, it was God. Now, I, I'm a Christian, but I always had a love for God in my heart. And God revealed a lot to me because these thugs were over the top. They were they were completely violating me all my life since I was three years old. But for sure when I was ten is when this started. But I, I really believe it was when I was three years old. I was taken out into, into a canyon by six teenage kids, me and my sister. I was three, my sister was five, and they did horrific stuff to us. And the therapist later on seemed to be in cahoots. The police seemed to be in cahoots. And from that moment on, my life, well, it was normal basically as a kid, but there were strange moments. Men inside my windows at different times. I got a phone call when I was 10 from a man saying, Tony, I know you're alone. I'm going to be watching you all your life. Things like that. So then in 95, I met this woman. I dated her uh, for three years. She had a lot of money. She gave me a lot of attention. She was very physically pretty, but and she appeared to be beautiful on the inside. But when time unfolded, it turned out she was actually uh, pretty demonic. I just thought she was a wicked woman. I had no idea she was a reptilian hybrid until I, I met with her again in 2011. I videotaped us. I saw some strange anomaly on her face. I uploaded the video to YouTube. It got 10,000 views in a week, and then that's when. The ride began. I had the doctor at Mercy Hospital try to kill me. Military men, along with the San Diego police, trying to sneak in my back window at 1 o'clock in the morning to murder me. Um, 911 phone calls where they're just hanging up on me. They're not, because, you know, it was this giant organized uh, plot to murder me. So it wasn't that they spent all this money on just me. What happened is they were beta testing me, and I wasn't supposed to find out. 
But see what happened, there was two things going on. I uploaded a video of my ex-girlfriend, the reptilian hybrid video, and that's when the lady at the hospital was gonna do me in, the doctor was trying to murder me. Yet the people in the condos, they were already beta testing the DARPA material. Um, so you had all these different, like, you know, uh, you had two separate groups doing their own thing, is what happened, they, they were intertwined. And then when it all came out, the arrogance, they pretty much told me to shut up or they were gonna kill me. So it wasn't that they spent all this money on just me, they're actually, when they're in an area and they're gang stalking a person, they're actually gang stalking several people, but there's just different levels of gang stalking. Some people, they just look in their house at night and watch their little kids when they're naked. Some people, they'll murder. Some people, they'll just shoot them with microwave weapons. There's different levels of this. And the, the, the really crazy part is that the government has lost their mind when they decided to turn their weapons on we the people um, to uncloak themselves and to reveal their poker cards. Obviously, they got something planned for America that's so big and it's coming up really soon or they wouldn't be, uh, they wouldn't be so uh, arrogant. If you ask me, they would be more hidden unless there was something big coming up soon. That's why I try to tell people that it's so important to get your heart right with Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is God himself. God decided to come as a man to earth to show us how to walk, to show us how much he loves us. And if you can imagine God Almighty himself, the, the creator of every universe, the creator of every piece of material, the creator of all life, imagine him coming as a man and then sacrificing his life for our sins. Almighty God himself. God Almighty, I mean God without sin, coming to earth and dying for our sins, because he had no sins, and we do, and the penalty for sins is death. So him dying for our sins because he was clean, makes that bridge for people that do have sin, where they can now be forgiven because he already died for us. He wasn't supposed to die because he was without sin, but he took on death for us, being without sin. You're not supposed to die unless you have sin. See? So now we're able to, to, to use His blood, the blood of Christ, to protect us as long as we accept His gift and walk in His footsteps by taking up our cross daily and following all of His commandments, forgiving our enemies, and praying daily to God the Father and remaining as humble as we can. But, in a nutshell, that's why, that's how it works with the gang stalking program, is they don't really spend a lot of money on one person. Well, in some cases they do, like if you take that Richard Bruce over in L.A., that takes a lot of money to, to uh, for, for uh, helicopter fuel. It's not cheap. And they're flying over this guy's mo mobile home daily, torturing the poor guy. It's costing the taxpayers thousands of dollars per day just so a bunch of arrogant reptilian hybrids can, you know, uh, shine their ego. But that's pretty much gang stalking in a nutshell. Is it's, when they're in an area, they're watching several people at one time. And it's not because anyone's a criminal, it's because they're criminals and they're breaking the law by violating our privacy, by violating the Constitution, um, in many cases doing uh, human sacrifices to Satan. I know we have a hard time, you know, picturing this, but a lot of police officers, judges, doctors are in satanic groups and what they do is they do human sacrifices to their Lord, the devil. And it gives them some kind of demonic protection, demonic energy, demonic power, though to the power of Christ Everything fallen must yield onto its knees. 
So that's the good news. That's why you, it's so important to get your heart right with God because He's coming soon. And before He gets here, this world's going to get darker and darker and darker. And if you have God in your life, you're only going to have the creator of every single thing on your side. So it's so important to get a loving relationship with the Father in Heaven. Gang stalking is real. It's happening all across America. It's being uncloaked because they're about to roll this out on every American. They're going to use um, harmonics, um, high tech to make the United States a giant prison uh, prison planet, like Alex Jones would say on an handful of words, it's like a prison planet. It's going to be like uh, a thousand times worse than Alcatraz. Thanks for watching. Get your heart right with God before it's too late.